Howdy. My name is Haley Celeste Rosier. I am an undergraduate student at Texas A&M Commerce, and I'm actually going to be doing an interview for my teacher preparation admissions. I don't have anyone who's going to be asking me questions, so I'm just going to go ahead and ask a question and answer myself. All right, so the first question is, why did I want to become a teacher? I wanted to become a teacher because I want a meaningful career. I want a career where I can impact the lives of others. To me, there's no better career than being a teacher. I mean, everybody knows a teacher who impacted them and shaped them into the person that they wanted to be, who gave them the tools necessary for their future goals and future careers. I wanna be that person that people remember for the rest of their lives. I wanna be that kind of teacher. I wanna be the kind of teacher that gives my students a safe place for their learning and who also makes learning both easy and enjoyable. Being a teacher to me is a career that is never done. It's a career that one always has to perfect. And it's a career where you really learn by doing. It's a career that's trial and error, trial and error. Every year you get a little better at your craft. You learn what works for students. Hey, what worked last year may not work this year. I like the idea that there's no same day of teaching. I want to be a career that is happy and enthusiastic, and I want that energy to rub off on my students. I am going to be a very passionate teacher, and I think my students are going to appreciate that, and that passion that I have at my art is going to trickle down into their um, learning experience. I want to be a teacher who cares about their students, who is a support system for my students. And I want my students to feel warm and welcomed within my classroom. And I wanna be the kind of teacher that provides those things towards my students. I'm gonna be a very passionate teacher. And I think that's gonna take me very far in this career. Um, my next question is, what strengths do you possess that you think will help you become a successful teacher? Whew, I have a couple of strengths. Um, I am very outgoing. Um, I'm an individual who encourages positivity and I have the ability to motivate others. I think I'm a very relatable person because, you know, I was one of those students who was very intellectual, but I had things that were going on at home. I was one of those students who was kind of stressed out when I would go to school. And learning for me was a safe haven, which brings me back to why I want to be a teacher. I want that kind of safe haven. And I want to be that teacher that can give that to my students, that they can come into my classroom and it be a stress-free environment. I think my students will appreciate the fact that I'm relatable because when, when you feel like you can relate to somebody, you feel like you can connect to them and that kind of opens your aura up to the idea of learning and retaining the information because now, now my students will be able to relate to me. So they're going to want to, you know, do positive things within my classroom because I'm more than just their teacher. I'm their confidant and their um, mentor. You know, I am a very happy person. I'm intelligent and I engage in almost everything I do. And I think my personality is going to trickle on to my students and it's going to make my classroom manageable and fun 
And I'm going to have that class where the students are like, oh, you have Miss Rosier. You're so lucky. I wish I could be in her class. Like, I want to be that kind of teacher. I want to give those kind of vibes to my students. And um, yeah, I think that they're going to love me as a teacher because I'm fun and I'm positive and I'm going to teach in different learning styles that apply to everybody. And they're really going to enjoy being a part of my classroom and they're going to enjoy the relationships that they formulate with each other in my classrooms because I'm going to have that safe haven for them. Uh, my next question is describe the biggest challenge you think you may face as the teacher. Whew. I think that a big challenge that I may face is the fact that some of my students might not be at the appropriate level in relation to their grade level, meaning they may be academically behind and others may be academically, you know, way ahead. And I'm going to have to work through that differentiation because my students, they're not just going to come to me one way. I'm going to have to work with all my students, challenge all of them, and push all of them to their intellectual capacities. I'm going to have to make lesson plans that are fun and that are challenging, but that are also going to put back that information that we were learning in past lessons into the lessons that they're learning now so they can retain the information. Another challenge that I think I may face is the fact that sometimes they don't, my students might not have support from their parents and they may be discouraged. So I think, you know, opening my students' mind to the fact that, hey, you can be whoever you want to be in this world, and I'm going to give you the tools that you need to achieve whatever goals you have for yourself. You know, find something that you love and run with it. Run with it with passion and desire and give it your all, and you really truly will be the best at whatever it is that my students decide that they want to do because I'll give them those tools. So, I just want myself and the parent and the student to all be on the same level. So early on, I'll formulate meetings with the parents so we can be on the same page. And, you know, in class, I'll have my students write out, what's your, what's your short-term goal? What's your long-term goal? What are your, what are your five-year goals? And I'm going to show that to the parents that way the parents can see like, hey, that this, this is what your kid wants and what do you want for your kid? So we can all be on the same page together. I want there to be that respect early on. Um, my next question is, is uh, how would you encourage students to become lifelong learners? <laughs> I feel like part of becoming a lifelong learner is, you know, having fun while you're learning reading books that you can enjoy, you know, 